There's two ways that we can have avalanches in a backcountry snowpack. One is that we add stress to the system via new snowstorm adding weight or wind drifted snow adding weight. The second way we can have avalanches is that we weaken the snowpack. Melting snow is the latter. It weakens the snowpack as we add water into the system. There's two types of wet snow avalanches that we're worried about. The first is wet loose snow avalanches and that occurs when these upper layers of the snowpack start to hold water and start to lose cohesion. Generally start in a point and run out in a fan-like shape. The second more destructive version is a wet slab avalanche and that's what, what happens is over the course of days when we have warm days and non-freezing nights water starts to percolate through the snowpack and pool at crusts or in weak layers breaking the bonds apart and we can have large destructive avalanches. So right now we had a good freeze last night worried about wet loose avalanches today if we get some non-freezing nights over the next few days as the temperatures continue to warm we'll start to be thinking about uh, avalanches failing deeper in the snowpack.